listen. Before we begin with today's video, go subscribe to my channel if you are new. Or else you're gonna get or else you're gonna be sent with bit you're gonna like ha ha Clinton Dix Day, I'm sending bears right to your house. So unless you unless you want bears to be your dinner unless you want bears to, unless the bears eat you want the bears to eat eat you, go subscribe. Listen. Who cares if the Lions owner is stepping down? Lions ain't shit anymore. And you know what doesn't surprise me? The fact that I hear reports that they want Kaepernick now as quarterback. And it doesn't really change the culture of Detroit whatsoever. Because Detroit, every year, gets the Patriots. Every t gets the Patriots players. <laughs> Will they get Julian Edelman? <laughs> but anyway. It would don't be surprised if Matthew Stafford if this is Matthew Stafford's last season in Detroit. Don't be surprised. So when I hear that there the Lions are interested in Kaepernick, um, the new owner is interested in signing Kaepernick to like a deal, believe it. And it it does make sense because. Even though Stafford is probably like the best quarterback to ever play in Detroit, and they're the pressing mind, it's just Detroit has never put Stafford in these situations. But Stafford is like 35 years old and still hasn't done shit in the NFL. You know, he had a cup. You you do know that um he had a couple he had he had a couple chances to win games this season, but ultimately fell short, except for the Packers game where he, where he got robbed. He had a chance to win against the Chiefs. Before you say, oh, it's the Chiefs, it's Mahomes. So, did you know that the Lions' defense did very great against Mahomes, holding him to zero touchdown passes? And only, like, one interception, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Matthew Stafford had a couple chances. He, did, he blew it. He had a chance to win against Oakland. He blew it. He had a chance to win against the Vikings. Blew it. I don't give a shit if that defense gives up 30, 40 points. You got to put up points to give your defense a reason to fight like they did with Mahomes. And plus, all the little Lions fans are going to say, oh, well, we, if Stafford was healthy, you're gonna be, we're going to be third in the division. We're going to beat you week one. No, you're not. Understand that. Your defense is trash. Your quarterback is... Your quarterback has been eaten alive by Chicago's defense before. And we have beaten you in the past with Brian Horder and Chase Daniel as quarterback. And I'm confident that we that Trubinsky has has had great games against the Lions this decade. You know, he's he has like four and he also, he's only lost the Lions like twice, and that was in his rookie year. But Lions had a chance to win in the division under Jim Cardwell. They didn't. Yeah, they got fucked by the refs repeatedly, but I don't know why your your coach had a very average season and you were, and you got rid of him like he was nothing. And then you signed Matt Patricia. But here's the thing with Stafford. He, he's 35 years old and still hasn't done anything to impress the hell out of me. You know... Man, it's just these rumors, like, they're going crazy right now. They're going crazy right now, bro. But where do I see Matthew Stafford going to just in case, you know, this is his last season? Probably to the Patriots where they can eventually develop him to becoming an average quarterback. Maybe to the Chargers. Maybe to the Jaguars. That's what I see. But that's it for today's video. It's just a short claimer that, you know, Detroit ain't shit this season. You know, they're going to become the jobbers of the NFC North. And they believe that they will make a deep playoff one, but I'll believe it when I see it. So that's for today's video. Subscribe if you are new. 
FTP and bear down.